So first we're going to draw the stripes and the actual shape of the flag. Then we're going to draw the Star of David. We are going to draw this flag in the official proportions and the official colors as well. And because the flag of Israel has a lot of white and the canvas is white as well, we will start by going off the canvas. So we are going to build our flag in this gray area right here. So to create the stripes, select the rectangle tool. Then simply draw a random rectangle like this. Now go to the top of the screen and unselect this link. Then we want the width of this rectangle to be 220 pixels. And we want the height to be 15 pixels. Now zoom in on this rectangle. And as you can see, the rectangle has a stroke. So let's simply select the stroke and deselect the stroke. Then pick the selection tool, hold down the Alt key to duplicate, drag down a copy. You can hold down the Shift key as well to make sure you drag it in a straight line. Then while having this copy selected, go to the height and make it 25 pixels. Then simply drag this rectangle up while holding the Shift button and drag it until it snaps. Then once again, hold down the Alt key and make a copy of this one. Hold down the Shift key to make sure you drag it in a straight line. Go to the height and make this copy 40 pixels high. Once again, drag up the copy while holding down the Shift key until it snaps. Then simply select all these shapes, go to Edit, go to Copy, then go to Edit again and paste in front. And while having these copies selected, hold down the Shift key and rotate these 180 degrees. Then drag these copies down just under the originals. Then you will have a shape like this. From here, merge these two middle shapes together. So select both shapes, go to the Pathfinder menu right here. If it isn't open, you can go to Window and select the Pathfinder right here. Then while having these two middle shapes selected, go to this button right here that says Unite. This will merge these two shapes into one single shape. Now simply select this rectangle right here, hold down the shift key and select this right here. Then select the fill and choose this official blue color. And just to show the hex code of the color, I will double click right here. This is the RGB hex code of the official blue color. Now select all the shapes, right click the flag and click group. So now comes the part of the video that is complicated to figure out by yourself. But if you just follow this video, it will be very easy for you to have the correct proportions of the David star relative to the flag. So now select the polygon tool, click one time at the canvas, then create a polygon with a radius of 200 pixels and three sides. Click OK. Now select stroke instead of fill, go to the stroke menu right here and click align stroke to the inside. This is important. Then move the screen a little bit, just to get this rectangle into the middle of the screen. Now with this triangle selected, pick the selection tool, go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front. Then hold down the shift key and rotate this copy 180 degrees. So now we want to move this copy of the rectangle down until it forms a star. And if you have ever tried to create a Star of David, you might have tried to simply go to the align panel and click align right here but that will not align the star correctly. Instead, we want to move this triangle down manually. So we know the radius of the triangle is 200 pixels because we set up that radius ourselves. Therefore, we want to move this new triangle down by half the radius. This means we have to go to this Y field right here, which controls up and down. And to the right of this value right here, we are going to type plus 100 pixels. This moves the triangle down by 100 pixels. So now we have the correct shape of the Star of David, but we still need to make it the right proportions relative to the flag. To do this, select both shapes, go to the top of the screen and click this link back on. And now we want the width to be 59.75 pixels. And we want the stroke to be 5.5 points. Then while having the star selected, go to Object, go to Expand Appearance, then go down to the Pathfinder panel right here and once again click Unite. This means the star is now one single shape instead of two triangles on top of each other. Now right click the star, go to Arrange and click Bring to Front. Then select both the star and the flag. Go to this drop down right here and make sure Align to Selection is selected. Then simply click Horizontal Align Center and Vertical Align Center. 
And here we have the flag of Israel in the official proportions. Thank you for watching.